guys, ready for learning the difference between the future continuous and the future perfect? <laughs> These two tenses are used to express actions which are either in progress or completed in the future. We'll see a few examples to try to understand their use and also try and learn to distinguish them. Regarding form, every time we see a term in English, including in the name continuous, we know for certain that there is an ing form. In the same way, when we see perfect, we also know form will include have and a past participle, space reality. We start with the future continuous. Form is quite simple. We use the auxiliary will of want will not if it's negative, plus B, plus the verb with ing. An example, at this time tomorrow, I will be preparing videos for our webpage, Aprenda en Casa Región de Norte. We use the future continuous to express an action in progress at a specific time in the future. That is to say, an action will be taking place at or around a time in the future. Don't call me tomorrow. I will be teaching, for example. During a flight, you will also hear the captain making announcements and using the future continuous. Let's have an example. The cabin crew will be coming around in about 20 minutes time to offer you a lighter snack and beverage. Future continuous can also be used as a present continuous to express Plans, but shows a higher degree of certainty than the present continuous. If I say I will be buying a new car, it shows that you are really sure that you are going to buy that car. It really shows that that will actually happen. Another example of the use of future continuous to express plans is at what time will your parenting love be arriving? Finally, another specific use of future continuous is for inquiring about other people's plans. And sometimes it also implies that you have certain intentions. For instance, if you ask your daddy, will you be using the car this evening? Really, what you mean is that you want to borrow it. This tense goes with the following time expressions. At this time tomorrow, next Wednesday or Monday, in the next decade. Our second tense is future perfect simple or future perfect. The form of the future perfect includes, again, will or won't if it's negative, plus have plus past participle. That is to say, ed or the third form of irregular verbs. Is the future perfect to say that something will have finished by a certain time in the future. So, in a way, the action will be completed at that time. I will have moved to my new house by Christmas. In este ejemplo, la mudanza ya habrá terminado y para Navidad ya estaré viviendo en mi nueva casa. Let's have another example. Next year, I will have been divorced for 10 years. En este caso, para el año que viene, yo ya llevaré divorciado 10 años. En español solemos traducir este futuro perfecto por llevaré divorciado. The two expressions which go with this tense are usually combined with the preposition by. For example, by this time next week, by two o'clock, by the end of, by then, or by July. Another common time expression used with the future perfect is in three years' time or in two months' time, and so on and so forth. Just notice the use of the apostrophe with plural nouns. The example is I will or I'll have graduated from university in four years' time. Me habré graduado en cuatro años, es lo que decimos en español. To finish off, there is a specific use of this future perfect and it's called the future perfect continuous. And it is formed with will plus have plus being or as a verb with ing. You can use the future perfect continuous to reinforce the idea of duration. If you say, by the time you arrive, I will have been cooking for hours, it means that 
para cuando llegue yo habré estado cocinando durante horas. En este tipo de ejemplos vemos que se hace mucho hincapié en el proceso, en la duración de la acción que estás expresando. On Tuesday, I will have been working here for one year. Again, you mean that the time you have been working for this company has been one year, you reinforce the idea of time. Yes. Well, that you said, just a quick summary in Spanish. Recuerda, el futuro perfecto para acciones finalizadas. El futuro continuo para acciones en proceso. Esa es la clave para diferenciarlos. Do you feel like testing yourself? Let's see. Here you have two examples and you have to decide if you have to use the future perfect or the future continuous. So, let's go. This time, next week, we relax at the seaside. That's the first example. The second one is by the time we get to the cinema, the film, and then you have to decide which form of the future you have to use with each verb. Think about it. Let's see the answers. The first one is with future continuous because the action will be in progress. Estaremos relajándonos a esta hora la semana que viene. This time, next week, we will be relaxing at the season. The second one is the future perfect simple because the action will be finished. Para cuando lleguemos al cine, la peli habrá terminado. By the time we get to the cinema, the film will have ended. Time to go. Have a look at this chart with a summary of the main points to distinguish these future tenses. And there will be more material in our webpage, Aprende en Casa, to revise these tenses too. Sure, you will have revised these tenses after the video. La teacher se despide y os espera los próximos videos.